discuss tibia yes it is the bone of a leg region and onto the medial side it is situated yes it is the bone which uh, only participates uh, with the femur for the formation of the knee joint now uh, which is the superior portion and uh, which is the inferior portion so remember uh, broad portion is the superior portion and that short portion is the inferior portion sometimes students place like this no that broad portion is superior fine now from the anterior and posterior remember this tuberosity portion yes that should be onto the anterior side so tibior tuberosity portion that should be anterior side that broad portion that should be onto the superior side then from the that broad portion should be onto the superior side that the tuberosity portion should be anterior side and remember this portion that is known as the medial malleolus and medial malleolus should be medial side and that's how it becomes the right side of the tibia okay now this portion which is a very sharp border that is known as the anterior border of the tibia yes and we also have one uh, medial border and also we have one lateral border that's how we have uh, three surfaces what are those surfaces medial surface lateral surface and posterior surface so this is the anterior border medial border lateral border lateral surface medial surface and the posterior surface now on to the lower end we have malleolus that is known as the medial malleolus and here there is one bone articulating that is the talus okay fine and uh, here there is another bone is articulating uh, that is known as the fibula yes so fibula which is uh, articulating over this portion now attachments remember three main attachment onto the medial surface superior portion we have uh, three muscles yes one that is known as the sartorius second one that is known as the gracilis and the third one that is the semi tendinosus remember sartorius coming from the anterior compartment of the thigh and from the ilium gracilis coming from the pubis and uh, coming from the medial compartment of the thigh and uh, semi tendinosus which is uh, coming from the ischial tuberosity and uh, from the posterior compartment of the thigh so here all the three muscles are coming and they are going on to the different uh, directions and they forms the gyrops on the posterior portion remember semi membranosus yes right so sartorius gracilis semi tendinosus and semi membranosus now on to the tibial tuberosity remember one ligament which is uh, attaching it from to the patella that is known as the pre patella uh, that is known as the patellar ligament yes and on to the posterior surface uh, there is a one line and that line is known as the soleal line and from there one muscle is originating and that is known as the soleus yes and on to the upper part of the soleus another muscle is uh, attached that is known as the popliteus remember soleus popliteus sartorius gracilis semi tendinosus semi membranosus patellar ligament yes now on to the superior portion we have one uh, two cartilaginous plate here one that is known as the uh, medial condyle and that portion yes remember that uh, medial malleolus that is the medial condyle this portion is known as the lateral condyle on to the medial condyle and on to the lateral part we have a lateral meniscus those meniscus having the two ends one that is known as the anterior end another that is known as the posterior end this type or this side also meniscus having the two ends that is the anterior end and the posterior end and uh, there are two ligaments those are known as the cruciate ligament anterior cruciate and the posterior cruciate how we remember those attachments m c l okay that is the anterior end of the medial meniscus 
then the anterior cruciate ligament and then the anterior end of the lateral meniscus okay fine then on to the posterior side lmc that is known as the posterior end of the lateral meniscus then we have a posterior end of the medial meniscus and then we have the posterior cruciate ligament so we also uh, name it uh, medical medical college lucknow lucknow medical college mcl lmc that is the anterior end of the medial meniscus this is the anterior end of the lateral and between them there is a anterior cruciate here uh, posterior end of the lateral meniscus and then the posterior end of the medial meniscus and then there is a posterior cruciate ligament okay